Over the last decades across Europe and the Middle East, many ethnical and territorial conflicts have escalated, causing heavy casualties, human suffering, and leaving thousands homeless. Without a satisfactory resolution and peaceful reconciliation among different groups, a situation can easily deteriorate. Dialogue is a starting point. It is not easy to begin or implement, yet it is crucial to the reconciliation process. The Council of Europe uh, is very much known for its institution, which is the European Court on Human Rights, which is reacting. We think that the work with young people and the work for young people and seeing young people not only as the future, but as the presence and the, as a source of solving problems is as important as the Court on Human Rights because we are doing a proactive role in working with young people, for young people, in preventing human rights violations in future. The Peace Camp has been going on for eight years and what's really important to know is that Peace Camp was established and initiated by people from the regions who wanted to take responsibility for change and they felt that it would be very good to have uh, different conflicts uh, together so they can compare and contrast each other's interventions in their countries. Young people from the Caucasus, Balkan region and Middle East came to the European Youth Center in Strasbourg and worked and lived for a full week in a multicultural environment. During the week, these young people have been taking part in workshops on identities, human rights, dignity and values, conflict transformation skills building and many other. Participants have experienced conflict often personally and shared during the week how it affects their lives. They came together to tell each other about the conflict in their regions, to tell their story. I live in a, a camp, a refugee camp, so there is no places like this. Uh, I got surprised when I came here with this train, cars, uh, trees. <laughs> uh, so it was amazing for me when I see like these things. The training presented different challenges for every one of them. For some, it meant unlearning the lessons of a lifetime. For others, it meant viewing the world from a new perspective. Because we came from Israel, we don't know how they feel about Israeli people because they, we know that so many countries, sorry, but they hate the Israeli and the Jewish because of the... No, no, okay. no that's true, right? Like uh, in Syria and uh, in Jordan and Egypt. The whole Arabic world. The whole uh, Middle East. Uh, the whole Middle East. <laughs> uh, almost the whole Middle East. The question that everyone asked me here. Hey guys, do you have an army? It's like a conflict between two sides, this side and the other side. Do you have an army or what? Of course, we don't have an army and the, the conflict is between like stones and tanks. This, this is our conflict. This oppression actually just continued in, and uh, <clears throat> uh, we had this poisoning in April and March and April 1990 with 7,000 Albanian students were poisoned. You told about poisoning. I, I didn't go to the kindergarten because of the Albanians poisoned Serbs Serb kids. And we also are familiar with the kidnapping of Serbian babes, which are taken to Albania. There are certain needs that all of us have, and I don't think any of us as human beings want to uh, not give those. And we understand that we need love, we need security, we need caring, we need resources, we need jobs, we need education, we need our children to be taken care of. There are a lot of basic things that I think all of us as human beings can understand. And on that level, we can have dialogue. By learning to listen to the story of others with empathy and compassion, everyone has been able to confront and re-evaluate their own perceptions and beliefs, views and standpoints. It also meant learning how to overcome the barriers, internal and external, which prevent constructive dialogue with others. Yesterday was just, was just a really emotional day. It was like all the conflicts, uh, uh, one after one, one after the other, and lots of problems like on, on the table, and like many people blaming each other, and many people like throwing things at each other, and sometimes it wasn't so comfortable to sit on the chair and hear those things, and sometimes it was comfortable, but, but it was like, you know, many things, and your, 
like my emotions couldn't like bear it in some point because it was too much. Trainers of the Council of Europe have worked with this group of young people using various exercises to examine and confront their perceptions, stereotypes and prejudices about each other. Each part of the training was viewed as a chance to overcome prejudice and suspicion, an opportunity to move along the road towards peace and friendship. Peace and friendship are definitely two things the Youth Peace Camp achieved. To be part of Youth Peace Camp, the participants committed to a process of intensive learning and personal development. By embracing the concept of applying the human rights-based approach in conflict situations, participants developed understanding of the human dignity and respect for differences. Back in their home countries, they will serve their role as multipliers and peace promoters with young people. Through them, their families and friends also learn about tolerance, dialogue and cooperation for equality, human rights and human dignity. Cooperation is not something we are born knowing, it is something we must learn. If they can do it, so can you. I've learned that um, the youth that participated in here, they have lots of things to share, but uh, at the whole wrap-up I figured out that the youth are interested for peace and in the uh, future they're re really ready just to solve kind of that problem. Use this